Hi everybody, Dr. Aulis here. In this short video, we're going to talk about a, a piece of cartilage tissue that remains in your bones for a while called the epiphyseal plate. The epiphyseal plate is found by the epiphyses, the ends of the bone. So between the epiphysis and the diaphysis of our long bones. The epiphyseal plate in normal person words is sometimes called the growth plate. And we call it the growth plate because it's made out of hyaline cartilage that we can continue to divide and grow longer and then turn into bone tissue. When we talk about the epiphyseal plate, what it helps us to increase is the length of our bones. So our bones actually grow longer as the epiphyseal plate grows bigger as well. When we talk about this band of cartilage that's inside your long bones, the epiphyseal plate, there are several different processes that go on to, to help you grow length. So at the very beginning of the epiphyseal plate, we do mitosis with our chondrocytes. Remember that mitosis is the process of cell division that allows us to take individual chondrocytes and make more of them. When we look at our epiphyseal plate here at the top where we're doing mitosis, notice how these cells are very short and they're squished on top of each other. That's because these chondrocytes are doing mitosis so quickly, they don't have time to actually get pushed apart from their neighboring cells, from the new chondrocytes that they made. The next thing that happens to help us grow this epiphyseal plate is the individual cells themselves, the chondrocytes, get larger. So notice how much bigger they've gotten as they've developed and started to push away from their neighboring cells. But as they get bigger and as they keep pushing, they start to run out of nutrients and oxygen. We transition into what we call a calcification zone, meaning that around these chondrocytes, we start to deposit a lot more calcium, blocking off their oxygen and nutrients even more. So we're left behind with this not really strong calcified tissue. Ultimately, we're going to turn that into bone tissue using a type of cells called osteoclasts. So osteoclasts break down this calcified matrix and osteoblasts then turn that into new bone tissue, bone tissue that's making your bone grow longer. When we think about the epiphyseal plate or that growth plate, you can actually see this on x-rays because cartilage tissue behaves differently than bone tissue. In this image, I'm looking at a patient's femur and their tibia and their fibula. We're looking at the knee joint here. Notice that inside the femur, there's kind of this lighter colored line right here. And inside the tibia, there's this lighter colored line and this lighter colored line here. These are places where I don't have the bone tissue, which bounces back those x-rays and looks really bright. So if we're looking at an x-ray for a patient and the bones look like, I like to call them floating, where there's one part and another part that don't quite look connected. This means that a patient has an epiphyseal plate. They still have cartilage or a growth plate. But around ages 18 to 21, that cartilage starts to switch over to being only bone tissue. This is when we develop something called an epiphyseal line, which is a lot harder to see on an x-ray, but you can maybe faintly see a little bit of a white line in this region here where we used to have that floating bone, or a little bit of a faint line in this region down here where we used to have that cartilage tissue. When that cartilage tissue transitions into bone tissue, now we start to see x-rays that look completely normal, like an adult x-ray. And notice that this transition happens around ages 18 to 21. This is when you stop growing taller. Here's a study pro tip for you as you're preparing for quizzes and exams. When I look at these bones over here and I see that they have this growth plate, they have this epiphyseal plate, there are a couple of things I can tell about my patient based on this, this x-ray. Thing number one that I can tell, they have an epiphyseal plate. They have a growth plate. Thing number two that I can tell, they must be younger than ages 18 to 21 
to still have that cartilage growth plate. And thing number three that I can tell from this patient is that they must still be growing. They can still get taller. If I see an x-ray that looks like this, my patient is done getting taller. My patient is over ages 18 to 21 because instead of having that cartilage epiphyseal plate, now they have a bony epiphyseal line.